everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I want to talk about our Hero Builder and how to implement and integrate the free SSL certificate into your website. So those of you that are not using Hero Builder, I'm going to navigate over to the page really quick. You can, I'm logged in, so my menu may look a little different, but here's our Hero Builder page. And if you're not a current customer of Name Hero or you do not have an account with us, you can try out Hero Builder free for seven days. No credit card required. Just click Get Started Free, and you can easily create your account with Name Hero, and the Hero Builder will deploy. Now, once you do decide on a, a package of Hero Builder and you upgrade from the trial, you have the opportunity to connect your unique domain. Now, if you need help doing this, um, I've got plenty of videos on our YouTube channel on how to connect your domain and actually how to pick a domain if you don't even have one. So you want to make sure you have that before you follow these steps to get the SSL generated. So I'm going to head over to our client dashboard and I'm going to navigate to my package that I want to apply the SSL certificate to. So I'm going to click um, Cloud Web Hosting and I've got a couple packages here, but the one I want to talk about is the e-commerce builder package because it's an upgraded package from the trial. You have to have a um, upgraded package in order to connect your unique domain. So I also have videos on connecting your domain, but I'll go here, connect domain, and I want to make sure that my domain is in fact connected. So you can see I'm using the domain trekhosting.com and it points to my website URL. So this is my Hero Builder URL and my domain connects to it. And you can see the status is connected. Now, obviously you want to make sure that you're using the appropriate name servers for your domain because it will not resolve unless it does. So again, please see that video I have on our YouTube channel on how to connect your domain to make sure you followed all the steps correctly um, before, com before completing the SSL or attempting to complete the SSL installation. So once the domain is connected, you have your name server set and it's propagated, you can click the lock right here. It says, if you hover over it, you can see it says generate SSL and then confirm it. And this will actually generate a unique secure certificate for your specific unique domain. And this is 100% free. It's included in all our Hero Builder packages. Um, but this won't complete successfully unless you have um, the name servers updated and they've propagated, which you can see it, it has on here. So once you set up and connect your domain, it may take a, up to a couple hours to propagate. Most of the time it's like five to 10 minutes, but sometimes we do ask for at least 24 hours before making the assumption that it did not work. Okay, so once that's good, um, once that um, has generated, you should be able to go visit your website using HTTPS. So let me just go back here for a second, and I just wanna go to my site, and I'm gonna change it to trekhosting.com, and so you can see the, I, I went to HTTPS and you can see it's secure. So I can click certificate and see it's, it's um, issued by Let's Encrypt, it's um, validated and we're all set. So now when I browse my website, trekhosting.com, I have the secure certificate. Now, many of you will wanna make sure that it, the site, the Hero Builder always calls the secure site. So that way that if someone doesn't type in HTTPS, they also get the secure site. So this is very simple and easy to do. If I go back to my client area here, I'll click on edit website to bring up the builder and just takes a second to load up here. And it's pulling all my files in here. Okay, so here's my site that of course I can go start editing on, but to configure the SSL just so it calls it every time, I'll click on these cogs and go to settings. And then you can see the first setting under general is publish site with forced HTTPS. So I'll click that and also, you'll notice that you can publish it with forced redirection. You want to do this as well. So we're going to click this too and say if it doesn't have www, redirect it to the non-www because that's where the SSL certificate is. So I can see in here, I don't have the www in front of it. All right, so I'm just going to click apply and now I'll go to publish. 
Okay, now when as this what this does, it packages everything up and it sends it securely to the Name Hero cloud or high speed cloud with all the features that you've come to love of Name Hero, and um, it sets it up in your HT Access file. So now when people browse your site and they go to your domain, so let's see what they would just type in www. You see it automatically redirects to the secure version of the site. And so now you can see as people go about browsing your website that everything is safe and secure. It's using the secure certificate and you no longer have that not secure warning. You know, at Google Chrome, I think it was July 20, uh, I know it was July 2019, they implemented this new feature in their browser that if you don't have an SSL certificate, they show a not secure warning up here. Now, of course, if you're selling products, um, customers aren't gonna input their information in a site that says not secure, at least I wouldn't. Um, so it's important that you use that feature and it's completely free, super easy to set up. Um, and as you can see, it just took a second to force all those URLs to that. And now your site is safe and secure. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to let us know. Um, but the prerequisites is to, you know, make sure you're on a paid package and have your domain connected, make sure it's propagated, and then you can just set it up with the mentioned steps. Now I've got a video as well to connect your domain. And now this highlights how to, how to go through and force that connected domain to use that secure certificate. So let us know if you have any questions. Again, the Hero Builder is free for seven days, so you can try it out, see if it's appropriate for your website, play around with it, build some sites. Um, um, you don't even have to buy a domain until seven days. So you can um, use your public facing subdomain to test everything out and maybe decide on your domain name. If you already have a domain, you can connect your existing domain as well. So you have many options with Hero Builder. We've tried to make it as flexible and easy to use as possible for everyone. So you can get started risk free, see if it's for you. If it is, then you can upgrade and you can have all these awesome features along with your Hero Builder website. So let us know if you have any questions. Once again, I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO at Name Hero. Thanks so much for using us, and I'll see you in the next video.